Today, I'm going to test your attention to detail with short but tricky puzzles. Do you have what it takes to find all the oddities in them? Let's check. You can see two women in the elevator. One works in this building, while the other came here for an interview. Can you guess which one works here? The woman on the right has a name tag on her jacket, while the one on the left has none. Can you spot an odd pineapple here? It's this one in the corner. It has three leaves, while all the rest have four. Okay, let's make it harder this time. Do you notice anything weird in this picture? Hurry up! A tap coming right out of the tree doesn't look right, and a purple coconut looks sort of off, right? You've got three desserts before you, but only one of them is safe to eat. Can you choose the right one? The strawberries with whipped cream may seem delicious, but those tiny flies scream that this dessert is off. Next, you've got a muffin, but there's a worm in the cherries on top of that muffin. So, ice cream is the safest option. Now let's see how sharp your eyes are. How many numbers can you see? The numbers on the screen are 1, 2, 3, 7, 5, 0, 8, 6, 9. Look at these three paintings and try to tell which one is fake. The second one, it's labeled as having been painted in 1950, but there's a lion looking at a smartphone in it. How could there be smartphones back then? You're lost in the woods, cold, and so very hungry. Suddenly, you walk out to a clearing where you see three cozy-looking houses. Check your survivor's instinct. Which one do you think is safe to enter? The house on the left has a big lock on its door, and its windows are boarded up. There's just no way you can get in. The second house looks safe at first glance, but look at the snow. Bear footprints are leading to its porch. It wouldn't be nice to become a dinner for a hungry bear now, so your safest bet would be the third house. Who's not very smart out of these two guys? Well, giving your cat a wash from time to time isn't that bad, although the kitty sure wouldn't like it. So the guy on the left is doing fine. As for the one on the right, look at the pet food package in his hands. He's giving his dog cat's food. This stuff shouldn't be confused. Can you spot what's wrong with this image? The woman sitting in the armchair has two different slippers on her feet. The painting on the wall seems to be from two different time periods at once. Hmm. There's a Victorian-era man with a digital camera hanging from a strap on his neck. Which of these three pictures has something wrong in it? The second one. The girl in it is eating her soup with a fork. One of the kids in the picture snuck out of the bedroom through the window at night and came back. Who was it? The one in the lower right corner still has their shoes on. One of these people going abroad is suspicious. Who? The woman on the right is going to Indonesia, but she's got a warm coat and a scarf packed in her suitcase. Are you willing to bet who's going to win in this rope pulling contest?
If you placed your bet on the right-hand team, you've got it. There's more than one person on their side. They're just hidden outside the frame. Can you figure out how many interviews this guy already attended this month? Oh, no. He's done five out of six. There are six post-it notes on the calendar, but a little movable square indicates the current date is on the 26th. His next interview is on the 28th. This room has something wrong, but I can't see it. Can you? There's a bird in the fish tank. Which hand is the odd one out? It's the third one, the only right hand here. The rest are lefts. There are three people in the science lab, but one of them is not who they want the others to believe they are. Who is it? It's the guy on the right. He's wearing a fake ID badge on his lab coat. This hall is full of extravagantly dressed guests but one of them is more extravagant than the rest. They're a ghost. Can you spot them? Look at the woman on the left. Her feet are almost transparent. She must be the ghost. This one will require both your observation skills and logic. Which of the two teapots can hold more tea? The one on the left is taller, but the one on the right is broader, so they can hold an equal amount of tea. Still, the taller one also has its nose at the same level as the broader one, which won't allow it to be filled to the brim, so the right teapot can hold more tea. Which one of these three people came to this cafe not alone? It's the girl behind the table in the middle. She has two cups of tea in front of her. One of these three partygoers has recently escaped prison and hasn't gotten rid of all the evidence. Can you figure out who it is? It's the guy on the right. He still has handcuffs hanging from one of his hands. An art exhibition owner has sold a painting to a private collector. He said it was a work of an unknown 18th century artist. But the next day, the disgruntled buyer returned the picture to the exhibition owner and demanded his money back. Can you tell why by looking at the picture? Well, there shouldn't be an airplane in the painting if it was genuinely from the 18th century. Someone broke into a house in a rich neighborhood and got away with a lot of valuables. The police had a suspect and stopped by his home. The suspect said he hadn't left his home since the day before, but the police officers knew he was lying. Hmm. Can you guess why? Look at the helmet on the bike's handlebar. It's upside down. Since it was raining so hard, it would have been already filled with water to the brim if it hadn't been hanging like this since the day before. A police officer approached a man sitting in a car parked next to a hotel's front door and issued a parking ticket. Hmm. The man was outraged, saying he'd been there for no more than two minutes, and the sign said five minutes of staying was allowed. Still, the officer was adamant that the man wasn't telling the truth. Why? There had been a heavy snowfall and just too much snow on the man's car hood and roof. If he had arrived just two minutes before, the snow would have been blown away by the wind or melted. There are three passports before you, but only two of them are real. Which one is fake and why? The right one is fake. Passport photos should be taken against a white background. And this one has something else in it. 
Which of these two people here is asking for trouble? Surfing is not the safest of sports, but if this girl is a professional surfer, she's fine. <laughs> the man with loud music coming out of his speaker isn't safe, though. Loud sounds such as shouting or music can cause an avalanche in the mountains. Jason says he's just returned from a trip to Antarctica, and he's showing his friends photographs taken there. They seem all right, but one of Jason's friends thinks he's lying. Why? Look at Jason's face. He has tan lines from the sunglasses. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.